Hey guys, welcome to another session on Visly Pivot Tables features. So, with our newly released Visly Table, we also offered the ability to specify uh, dimensions and measures which can be conditionally, based on a click, a click expression, be shown or be hidden. So what you see here on the screen is a classic ad hoc pivot table example where somebody has a list of dimensions and measures that they can pick and choose and create their own ad hoc report on the fly, depending on what they want to see and they're most interested to see at that particular moment. The Visla pivot table offers you know full drill down capability to go into the next level, to select values. Uh, and also very important to also collapse and explore. Furthermore, you can ask add more dimensions into it. So for example, you can look at the um, fiscal month and then add it and pivot it horizontally and ultimately explore your data set in any granularity and level of detail you want to see this. Naturally, you can also export this uh, into Excel. So this is also a great tool for, you know, pick and choose your dimensions and measures, slice and dice it, and extract your data that you then want to use for different purposes. The cool thing about uh, this kind of ad hoc report functionality is that you can save your current configuration as a bookmark. So you can say here, this is Martin's selections. And next time you go in into the report, you just come in here and you reselect Martin selections and you see you're back to your original view. Very powerful. This is a very good, a interesting, good example of how this can be used. Make sure you load your dimensions as data islands. If you've used ClickView, you've probably done this before. Same also with measures. And then in the table, you can go into uh, the dimensions tab here and you can use, for example, yeah, first sort of value that picks the dimensions that have been selected to be displayed. And you can use calculation conditions to hide or show the selections depending on what you want. My recommendation is have a look at the example app. It's free to download, included with a package. You can see how this is implemented over here. Just replace the data islands with your own uh, data model or the own dimensions and measures you wish to export, uh, expose. And yeah, happy dynamic clicking. This is really simple, very powerful, and I'm very, very glad that we're able to share this with you guys today.